Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use Mongo rules to monitor traffic that is flowing through your network. So you may be familiar with using queues, interfaces and uh, um, torch to monitor traffic that is flowing through your network but uh, Mongo rules can be used to achieve the same thing and with even more flexibility. So head over to your firewall and I'm going to create a rule or create some rules so I'm going to just look at the clients that are on my network I'm going to use these IP addresses to create the rules so add and I'm going to use a forward chain because I'm going to monitor download traffic only so 192.168.7.2250 and action and usually you would select mark connection or mark packet we're going to use pass through this time around because what we want to do is just to monitor the traffic so we want the traffic to pass through this rule so we can monitor it and ok and next thing move these rules above all your mongo rules because most of the time your mongo rules don't allow um, tra pass through traffic so any rule that is below this um, rule will not get the traffic that is already marked so remember put the pass through rules at the top of the list I'm just going to copy this rule and uh, I'm just going to change the IP address ok I'm going to make another copy 252 and copy it again 253 all right so these are all the addresses that are currently being used on the network right now um, you can choose whatever address that you need to monitor all right so you can see the rate of the connection or the bandwidth that is being utilized by a particular ip address and this column um, i think by default it is not there so all you need to do is to go to click on this arrow and say show column and then look into this list um, for for rate and select it so all of these are columns that you can add to this view so for so this user 252 is currently using up approximately 2, two to 3 megabits per second and so you're able now to see the traffic that is being utilized by a particular IP address you can also see the total data um, that has been downloaded um, by a particular client. So with this, um, it will not affect your marking because all the traffic will just pass through these rules and then go down to your other um, Mongo rules where the connection and pockets will be marked. But you can even go a step further so say for instance um, I have a, a layer 7 protocol rule um, we call a reject regex, um, and what I have I have a rule for YouTube what I'm going to use I'm going to use that rule to monitor all the traffic that is flowing through the network that is YouTube so I'm going to create a next one forward because we're looking at download click on advance and then go to layer 7 protocol and choose uh, the protocol the, that we that was created action and then pass through we could call this YouTube ok ok and let us move this up alright what I'm going to do I'm going to select all of these and reset the counter so I'm going to just reset the counter for all all of um, the rules so right now there is no traffic for YouTube so I'm just going to head over to my VM so I just started a YouTube video and let us head over to to our Mongo and uh, for our rule you see the traffic that is flowing are for the users on the network so this is a YouTube, this is all the YouTube traffic that is flowing through the network. You can use these Mongo rules to 
to do a lot of things and so these are just a few of the different ways you can use the Mongo rules to monitor traffic on the network you can even use your ports if there's a particular port that you want to monitor traffic for so if uh, for instance I want to monitor um, say um, browsing traffic so I say say 80 and uh, 443 I can do that so for instance I want to just use port 80 so I'm going to just change this from YouTube okay so this will show all the traffic that is flowing through the network for um, that is going to port 80 on the internet so this is just HTTP traffic so you can adjust these rules to suit whatever need you may have that is how you'll use Mongo rules to monitor traffic that is flowing through your network if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching